All new tonight at 530 shocking numbers as high school sports start up for the year based on past data from Charlotte Mecklenburg schools. More than 230 students will get a concussion this year. Yeah, and while football players certainly make up about a third of those injuries, our defenders investigation is uncovering just about every sports CMS offers is somehow represented. NBC Charlotte defender Nathan Morabito discovered which sports and schools are linked to the most concussions. Football teams have far more players than any other sport, so it's not surprising they're on CMS's concussion list. But so are swimmers, volleyball players, and even runners, both boys and girls. And one high school has far more concussions than any other. It was scary. Chandler Bartol is one of nearly 950 CMS student athletes diagnosed with a concussion between 2013 and 2017. Hers, freshman year, when she collided with a teammate during field hockey practice. It was just really hard for me to quit everything. Her school, Myers Park High, is home to the highest number of concussions during that time, with 130, according to Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools. Providence and Audrey Kell tied for a distant second with Huff not far behind, all three with more than 90 concussions apiece. The idea that we have this concussion issue under control is a myth. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, concussions can cause short and long-term effects, impacting thinking, sensation, language and emotion. I remember getting kicked in the head and I would see stars and what I would do is I would try to grab the stars. Retired NFL player and Charlotte Today host Eugene Robinson experienced multiple concussions and is still living with short-term memory loss as a result. The longtime high school wrestling, track and football coach says he's constantly watching his players for the warning signs. You get to recognize it very, very quickly because you don't want to make misdiagnose that. Misdiagnose that, you can be talking potentially somebody's life. But it's not just football players. Here are the numbers to prove it. While CMS reported 98 football-related concussions during the 2016-2017 season, boys and girls soccer were well represented with 42 concussions combined, 19 for girls basketball, 17 for boys and girls lacrosse, 15 for girls volleyball, and 14 for wrestling. Cheerleading, rugby, baseball, softball, and even running, swimming, and diving and dance are also on this list. And get this, one third of those injured are girls. CMS records show medical professionals eventually cleared 98% of all players to return to play. That's more than 930 student athletes. Only about 90 did not return to their sport. I'm Nathan Morabito for NBC Charlotte.